This is the voice in the wilderness coming to you in the great wind. This is another day that Aya has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I pray that Aya has kept you in good health and in great strength, and he has protected you from all danger, from all accidents, and from all iniquities. I pray that you call upon his name, and he has continued to bless you. So with this we say praise be to Aya, all praise be to Aya, all praise be to Aya, our Redeemer. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a short video. I am here to apologize for a mistake that I have made in giving you the calendar. The mistake was that I have used the wrong phase of the moon. I apologize sincerely. I'm very sorry I made this mistake and I did not recognize that I made the mistake until I went back into the book and I was dealing with something concerning the calendar and I realized I made a mistake this morning. I'm so sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I apologize to you, my brothers and sisters, and I hope you all will forgive me for making that mistake. I again apologize. I'm very sorry. For the first day of our first month of our first year as Hebrew Israelites was on the 9th. I had said in the previous video it was the 24th. I've used the wrong phase. I'm so sorry. I'm very, very sorry. But my dear brothers and sisters, I hope you pray for this month. For this is the remembrance. We are still in the season. But it began our first day of our first month of the year, as Ayah has given us in the scriptures, was on the 9th of March, this month. The ninth day was the first day. I'm so sorry. Again, I apologize. And I want to inform you that the feast that the Passover will be on the 22nd day of this month, March. The Passover, again, will be on the 22nd day of this month, March. On the 22nd, the, on the 22nd will be the 14th day of Abib. The first day of Abib was on the 9th of March. The 22nd day would be, be the Passover day from the 22nd, the, day, the evening of the 22nd to the evening of the 23rd. This will be the 14th day to the 15th evening of Abib. Again, on the 22nd day of March will be the 14th day of the month of Abib, as Ayah gave us as the first month of, the, of his year. After the 15th, on the, the 15th day, would begin the Feast of Unleavened Bread. We are to eat unleavened bread from on the 14th evening. We could eat unleavened bread from the 14th evening on for seven days. Seven days we have to eat unleavened bread. Now, we are not to have any leaven in our houses. No yeast, no baking powder, no bread that is baked with anything that causes it to rise. It has to be outside our homes. We are not to have it. We are not to eat it. We are not to have it in the house because the kids might eat it. So we have to remove it from our houses. And we have to do this for seven days. Now, Aya had prepared a land, his holy land, Moriah, for us to do the Passover. We cannot keep the Passover in the strange lands that we are in. What we can do is observe it. We observe the time. We cannot keep it here because he has given us a place to keep it. 
But since we are the people who it was given to, and we are in the land of captivity as we are right now, we are to observe the day. So we say, we pray, we rest, we eat, but we give thanks to the Most High for what he did to our ancestors, what he did to us as a people. When he took them out of the land of Egypt, that great day, that magnificent powers he performed with all his miracles, the things he did for us as a people. And as a people, we should hope that he will do it again for us because he promised. He promised he will gather us again. He promised he's going to gather us from the east and from the west. He, gather, he will gather us and bring us back into the land the same way he did to our ancestors. So that's the reason we are, to, we are to observe this day. We are not to kill no animal here and doing this because the Most High had preserved preserve a place for us to do this. The place he preserved for us to do this was his holy land, the land that was called by his name. The blood of the animal was supposed to be in his land, the land that is called by his name. And we are not in the land, so we are not to sacrifice the animal. We are not to go and buy no piece of lamb. And the, the lamb was not supposed to be cut up. It was not supposed to be broken. It was supposed to be put on the fire hole. Even with the entrails, the inside was supposed to be there. So we cannot do this here because we are not in the land. So again, I apologize to you, my brothers and sisters. I do apologize to you. And again, I will inform you to make your own calendar so that we do not, that mistake would not hurt. Someone will be able to correct me if that mistake was to be made again, because you can make your own calendar. All you have to do is start from the 9th. We know the 9th of March. The 9th of March was the first day of the first month of the year that Ayah gave us. From there, you count 30 days, 30 days from the 9th, and that's the first month. Then you count another 30 days, and that's the second month. Then you count 31 days, that's the third month. Then you count 30 days, and then another 30, and then a 31. So you have 230, a 31, two 30s, and a 31 until you make the 12. You get two 30s, 31, then two 30 follow, a 31. And that's your calendar. And you can make your calendar for the rest of your life. You can make your own calendar if you follow that principle. Now, my brothers and sisters, again, I apologize. I apologize, but I try to make this video so because I just noticed that mistake I made. So you may catch up with the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Remember, you have to move it from your house. But let me read one scripture with you before I, I, I close this video. I will read from Deuteronomy chapter 16. And it reads, Observe the month of Abib. And keep the Passover unto Ayah your Redeemer. For in the month of Abib, Ayah your Redeemer brought you forth out of the land of Egypt by night. You, has, you shall therefore sacrifice the Passover unto Ayah your Redeemer of the flock and of the herd in the place that Ayah shall choose to put his name there. So here we see, I always giving us instruction where we have to kill the lamb. We have to kill the lamb in the place where I had chosen to put his name. And that is in Jerusalem, in the place that the land is called Moriah, under the mountain, Mount Moriah. He says in verse 3, You shall eat no leavened bread with it. You shall eat no leavened bread with it. Seven days shall thou eat unleavened bread, therewith even the bread of affliction. You shall eat no leavened bread at that period of time. Here he's saying here, you shall eat no leavened bread with the lamb. 
Seven days shalt thou eat unleavened bread therewith, even the bread of affliction, for thou comest forth out of the land of Egypt in haste. Thou shalt thou mayest remember the day when thou came from out of the land of Egypt all the days of your life. So you see here he's telling us we have to remember this thing all the days of our lives from generation to generation. So we have to observe it. Although we are outside the land, we are not to kill no lamb because we are not in the land where Ayah had chosen to put his name. Four, and there shall be no leaven bread seen with thee in all thy coast seven days. So here he's telling us, we are not in all thy coast, which means wherever we are, we are not to be seen with leaven. No leaven bread. Neither shall there anything of the flesh, which thou sacrifice the first day at even, remain all night until the morning. So if you are in the land and you are offering that sacrifice, none of the flesh should remain for the next day. You have to burn it. You can't let it remain for the next day. Thou may not sacrifice the Passover within any of thy gates, which I, your Redeemer, has given thee. So even in the land, they were not supposed to offer the sacrifice in their tribe, wherever the tribe is. There was a special place they had to go to offer that sacrifice. But at the place, but you see, but at the place that Ayah shall choose to place his name. That was at the spot Mount Moriah, at where he saw, where the same place where he told um, Abraham to go and offer Isaac as a sacrifice, is the same place where he told uh, Moses that he's going to, he, he's giving him a, um, he, when he was making the deal with Moses, he told him, he, he has to come back to that place here as a token. He given him as a token. He had to take the whole nation back to that place to praise him. That is the place he's talking about, Moriah, the land Moriah under the mountain Mount Moriah. He says here, There thou shalt sacrifice. There I, your Redeemer, shall choose to place his name. In there... Thou shalt sacrifice the Passover at evening, at the going down of the sun, at the season that thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt. At the same time, when he took us out, when did he take us out? He took us out in the month of Abib. So this is the month we have to remember that. He said when the sun was going down, when the sun was going down, that was the end of that day day at the end of the 14th day because the sun is going down and we were not supposed to go outside we were supposed to eat the lamb and stay inside why we were not why we how we know we were not supposed to be outside he told us that none of us supposed to go outside our dwelling because the spirit of death was passing over the seat over the place and the blood had to be put on the post so anybody who was caught outside as a Hebrew Israelite would have been killed. We had to be inside. It was night, not day. It was night. And he told us it was night. So to those who say that the day starts at evening, here is your proof that at evening is night. Evening brings on night. Your day starts in the morning at dawn with sunlight. That's your beginning of your day. The sun is to rule the day and the moon is to rule the night. So when you see the moon, it's night. It's not day. Thou shalt roast and eat it in the place which I, your Redeemer, shall choose. And you shall turn in the morning and go unto thy tents. And in the morning, they had to turn and go into their tents. You see, in the morning, they had to go in their tents. They had to leave their house from inside the house and go in living tent. Six days shall thou eat unleavened bread. At that time, they will eat no leavened bread. So from the time, the, 
the night of the Passover, when the Passover is finished that day, because you start it at night, and then you have the whole day, the next day, the, the, you have the, the evening of the 14th, and you have the whole day of the 15th, and on the evening of the 15th, you go in your tents. And seven days shall be a solemn assembly to hire your Redeemer. You shall do no work therein. In those days, in, in, at that period on leavened bread, we are to pray. To those of us who could stay away from work would be a good thing. We have to pray to the Most High. We have to make our supplication. We have to show Him that we are coming back to Him. We have to prove to the Most High that we are now studying His Word. We are now seeking His truth. We are now trying to please Him. The things that our ancestors did not do, that we are now willing to do it so that Ayah could turn His face back unto us, that Ayah will bless us as He promised. He will raise us up as He promised. And he will gather us as he promised. And he will bring us back into his land as he's promised. So we have to call on his name. And we have to keep his commandments and do them. And after that seven, seven days, then we have, we count seven weeks shall thou number unto yourself, unto thee. Begin to number the seven weeks from such time as thou beginnest to put a sickle to the corn. So those seven weeks you had to count was like when you start to, to reap the harvest. And he go on to tell you about um, the free will offering. Continue to read it. You will see. I just wanted to show you um, what Aya says about his, his bread. I know he says here, In, in verse 16, he says, number 15, I start. Seven days shalt thou keep a solemn feast unto Aya your Redeemer in the place which Aya shall choose, because Aya your Redeemer shall bless you in all thine increase and in all thy works of thy hands. Therefore, thou shalt surely rejoice. Here, Aya is telling you, when you do what he tells you to do, when you start to remember his teaching, his promises, when you start to put your hope in his promises, when you start to do his commandments, when you start to follow it, he's going to bless you and you will rejoice. He said, three times in a year shall all the mills appear before I am your redeemer in the place that he choose, in the feast of unleavened bread and in the feast of weeks and in the Feast of Tabernacles, and they shall not appear before I am empty. You see, three times a year, we as young men had to, supposed to go to Jerusalem in the place where he put his name. We were supposed to go there, up to that special place, that mountain, Mount Moriah, in the land of Moriah. We're supposed to go there. Unfortunately, we are in the land of captivity, we do not have that privilege. We do not have the, the, the resources. So I promise he's going to bring us back into the land. He's going to put us back into our gates. He said he's going to bring the tribes back. He's going to put us back into our gates. And then we're going to make the choices. We have to go to Jerusalem. Not only us, but even the strangers. There will be strangers among us telling, saying, let us go up to that mountain. Let us go to praise Aya. My dear brothers and sisters, so I hope I um, explain this to you. I am again. I apologize for the wrong, the, the the using the wrong phase, but I I I pray that you will comprehend what I'm saying to you. Um, on the 22nd of this month, we have passed the first day of the year, which was supposed to be a day of rest as well, which was on the night, but um. So last Monday, Monday the 9th of March, was the first day of the first month of the year, the month of Abib, or the month of green air, or the month of spring. So my dear brothers and sisters, I, I pray that you will hear this and um, make your corrections. 
So on the 22nd, again on the 22nd of March, the 22nd of this month will be the, 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 the Passover from evening until the next evening, which is the 23rd. And after that, we start on leavened bread. The Feast of Unleavened Bread will begin on the 15th day, which is the 23rd day. The 23rd day of March will be the 15th day of Abib. And that is when the Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread begins on the 15th day, which is which will be the 23rd of March. That's when you leaven bread. And the leaven bread goes on for seven days. No leaven. Remember, do not keep no leaven in your house. No, it's so, it, I just read to you. It's not even supposed to be in our gates. It's not supposed to be around us. So no leaven in the house, no bread, no cakes, nothing that is baked with leaven should be in our house or uh, any part of the house. It's supposed to be thrown out, take away. Okay. And, um, and that goes on for seven days. It ends on the 29th of March. On the 29th of March, it will end. So my dear brothers and sisters, I, I, I am again, I'm sorry for the mistake I made. I, I used the wrong phase of the moon for our, our, our beginning of the year and, the, and so on. I'm sorry, but I, I hope you may you comprehend. Um, and may I bless you and keep you and revive you and strengthen you and protect you and guide you. Always continue to call on his name. Continue to call on the name Aya, your Redeemer. Continue to do his commandments. Continue to hope in all his promises. Once you call on his name, once you are doing his commandments, Aya says he will give us what he promised. He will be there for us. He will beat down our enemies before our face. He will protect us from all the dangers, from all sicknesses and all iniquities. And my dear brothers and sisters, I hope you see what Aya is doing to the hidden. I hope you see as he promised us, he has begun in the time of Jacob's trouble. He has begun to remove that fear from us and put it on the nations. He has re begun to remove that curse from us and put it on the nation. He has begun to remove the confusion from us and put it on, onto the nations. All the those who oppress us, Aya has begun to oppress them. Those who enslave us, Aya is going to enslave them. Aya promise that we must keep his commandments and we must call on his name. Praise Aya, praise Aya Almighty, the mighty one of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob. Praise Aya, praise Aya, the mighty one of Israel, Aya. Thank you, my dear brothers and sisters. And may Aya bless you and keep you. Aya is great. Aya is great. Aya is worthy to be praised. Aya name is above all names and is worthy to be praised. Aya name transcends all languages. Aya is our Redeemer and our Savior. He is all that we have. He is everything for us. Praise Aya. Praise Aya. Praise Aya.